After installing and testing Apache, the next step is to install PHP. Once again, I'll be working in terminal and using the apt-get package manager. I'll type sudo apt-get install php5, and that will download and install the latest version of PHP for this Linux distribution. When prompted to continue, once again, I'll press Y for yes and return, and that will download all of the files, install PHP, and add the integration to Apache. So you should be able to run PHP scripts immediately. When the command line returns, you're ready to test. Now, by default, when you installed Apache, the HTML folder where you put your files will be marked as read-only. Before you can add files, you need to change the permissions. I'm going to change to the var www folder. And once again, I'll list the files, and this time I see the HTML subfolder. That's my document root folder. Now I'm going to change the permissions on the folder. I'll use sudo chmod, and then I'll type 777 and the name of the folder, HTML. And that makes the folder read-write for all users. Now remember, this is a local installation. These permissions are too broad for a production server, but this is a quick and dirty way to be able to add files to your local HTML document root folder. Now I'm going to use a text editor. I'm going to use KWrite, which I've installed in this distribution, but you can use any text editor you like. And I'll create a very simple PHP script. I'll start with open bracket, question mark, PHP, and I'm going to expand the font a bit so it's a little easier to read. And then I'll type PHP info, open and close paren, and then I'll close the PHP block. Then I'll click save as. I'll type slash var www.html and press enter. And then I'll name this file phpinfo.php and I'll save. Now I'll go back to terminal and I'll switch to the HTML subfolder and list the files. And there's my PHP info file. Then I'll go to my browser and I'll type in localhost slash phpinfo.php. And there's the result. On this Linux distribution, I'm running PHP version 5.5. And I see where my loaded configuration file is under etc php5 apache2 php.ini. If you want to make any changes to your PHP configuration, that's the file you would modify. And you can scroll down and find out a lot more information about your Apache and PHP installation. If you've gotten this far, you have a working PHP installation using whichever version of PHP is supported automatically by your Linux distribution.